Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about The Will of the Many by James Islington. Uh, this is the first in his new trilogy, The Hierarchy Trilogy, uh, the follow-up to his Lycanius Trilogy, which is something that I quite enjoyed, and so I was really looking forward to giving this a shot. And I will say, I've had some uh, some hits and misses uh, with new releases, and this is when I, I got New York via NetGalley. Uh, as soon as I saw that it, it was available there, I'm like, immediately request. Uh, and I was really hoping I would like it, because uh, the thing I was really worried about is a uh, part of the setup here uh, involves a school. I, you may have heard me say it before, but I am not really a fan of the school trope. Uh, it can be used very well, uh, but often I just find it kind of tiresome, so I was a little worried uh, with this one, uh, but it ended up working out really well, uh, which I'll talk about a, a little bit more, uh, but I was I was excited to get to this one. The first thing that I want to say, though, is just the amount of growth I can see in uh, how good of a writer uh, the author has become in this compared to Lycanius is very impressive, and it's definitely what you want to see in a follow-up to, because I really did enjoy Lycanius. I recommend it to people all the time. I love talking about it. There was a lot of stuff I really enjoyed, but it felt like a, a series written by a debut author. It had some flaws. I still really enjoyed it, uh, and though, but you, you, you look for a step up, and this definitely felt this way. It felt like uh, Islington was just very, very comfortable in uh, what he was going for with this, kind of the tone, the style, and it flowed really, really well and has a, a different feel for sure uh, than Lycanians did, and it works out super, super well. So this one is uh, our main character, uh, Vs, and it is a, in a first-person uh, narrative here, and he is... Uh, he's the son of a king from a conquered nation, basically, and he's been kind of hiding out and just getting by, basically, but he gets pulled into uh, some things going on with the hierarchy, which is the Catanan Republic, uh, which has just conquered basically everybody, and he gets involved, including, uh, like I said, uh, a, like a very specific uh, special school for like the elites uh, is involved in here as well, uh, and that's kind of the setup that we get. And uh, like I said, I was a little worried about the school trope, but uh, this is a pretty long book, I will note, too. It is like over, no, it's almost 700 pages, I think, is what it is, which I shouldn't have been surprised uh, because, like, Canius, they were all really long books, but I did not realize how long this was before I started, and I'm like, darn it, I'm like, it took me longer to, to finish this than I thought because I didn't realize how long it was, but I didn't actually look, which is on me. But this is a pretty long book, and it's set into mainly three parts. Uh, there's a little bit uh, at the end, but it's mainly divided into three parts. And the first third of the book takes place before uh, we even introduce the school. Like, it's, it's mentioned, we know it's coming. Uh, but the first third of it takes place before that. And we kind of get that three-act structure here. And so it, it ended up not really focusing on the school nearly as much as I thought. It's a very big part of the story, but we're not doing a ton of the things that you always see with that kind of trope. Uh, for the most part, and so that's where it didn't necessarily give me that feel. Uh, it instead was very, it was focused on our character, uh, what he's going with. That's a huge thing I also have to say that I enjoyed here is, um, and it's first person, so once again, it's a very different style than like Canius, which was third, but the the character is written, and like the other characters he interacts with, uh, feel much more real and developed, and that was probably my biggest complaint with Lycanius, is the character sometimes felt kind of two-dimensional, uh, or one dimensional, I should say, uh, and uh, like the like conversations they would have, the dialogue, the, them you know getting to know each other just felt kind of flat. Uh, and still love the series, and in here though we we don't get that at all. We get it's it's strong. There's a lot of development, uh, introspection with the one the character himself, him kind of dealing with a lot of tough situations, him getting to know people around him as well, and so characters were were very strong, uh, which is something I was really happy to see. Um, but we we have that thing that also I would have expected, uh, even though this is, like I said, very different from Lycanius, uh, where Islington's playing a, a bigger game than what's just on the surface here. Uh, we start to get more and more glimpses into what this big thing is going to be, and I'm not going to talk about it at all, uh, because even in, in, in here, it's in, you don't get a ton of... Uh, you're, you're figuring things out as the character figures them out and finds out for the most part, so you don't get a, a ton, but there's definitely a bigger 
thing going on behind the scenes and it's that kind of something extra that I really expected and that being involved also uh, kept it uh, more interesting through the kind of school parts and uh, kept you thinking like, yeah, there, there is something bigger going on here. There's some, there's conspiracies, there's this, there's that. You're not sure who's doing what, uh, who is a character that, you know, you should trust, that kind of thing as well. So you get a lot of that, which I think works really, really well. And uh, is also, it's what made it feel like not just a, a type of, uh, of school story. There's definitely more going on here as well. And this set, uh, with, like I said too, the, the, it's the Catnan Republic uh, and the hierarchy, and it's, it has a lot of very, very Roman feeling kind of things. It's the, you know, it feels like the Roman Empire in a lot of ways. There's a lot of like Roman styled words as well with uh, the rankings, the, the things, the way things are done, the Senate, the this, the that. There's a lot of that in there. And here's the first technically negative thing uh, I'm going to mention, but uh, I, I found that apparently uh, Red Rising and Golden Sun have just made Roman themed stuff annoy me and I was so mad about it because I was enjoying this book but every time for a while I got over it but it's every time we do the Roman stuff I'm like oh my gosh this is just flashing me back to those which is just not something I enjoyed those books uh and so I kept thinking of that I'm like they don't own Roman stuff like I can't do it and it, it is uh, obviously there's there's different aspects in its own thing, uh, but there's a lot of that in here. And so if you like that kind of thing, I mean, it's very much fantasy. It's not set in our world or anything like that. It's just, it's kind of uh, built around and themed around kind of the, the Roman ideas. And so there's a lot uh, that you get there. Uh, and if you like that kind of thing, especially I think you'll then really enjoy because you, you get a ton of that here. Uh, and the the kind of, the, the setup of this society uh, from this overlord that that rules and the basis of the society and the the idea of will and getting to the title the will of the many is uh the the kind of the magic system here uh which is done in in which i know some people said that lycanius felt at times kind of like sci fantasy almost you get that here too where it's it's magic but it is uh looked at and like researched as as like a science the ways that you can use it the things that you can do with this and so it, it has a kind of similar feel where it's very much fantasy and fantastical but uh we're looking at it as a science that's something that i actually tend to like i like harder magic systems uh for the most part and i, I sometimes will enjoy a softer magic system too and this is kind of a hybrid where it is a fairly hard magic system in a lot of ways, but there's a, there's enough leeway uh, that you, you're not going to know necessarily everything uh, or every specific thing. So there's enough leeway to keep it like interesting, but it's it's hard enough that you know what's possible. It's not you, you get to learn about all kinds of different things. But the idea of will in general is that basically you can cede a, a portion of your will to somebody else. And so the way this society is set up is with different ranks where the lowest rank people are ceding half their will essentially up to another person and then all the way up to the very top. Uh, and the more will that is being uh, given to you essentially, the stronger you are. And the way the society is set up is everyone is required to participate in this. Uh, once they become of age, they they have to be always be seeing the will. And so you look at a lot of things with, you know, how power structures are handled and the idea that literally like the people who are giving away half their will, they, you know, they have just enough energy basically to work and exist and, and not a whole lot else. So you do look at that a lot as well. And you can see with just the power structures, uh, the idea that of uh, greed and these people who are at the top doing anything to get there and, you know, using the populace there. The, the commentary is very present. Uh, it's not like shoving it at you and in your face, uh, but you, you can, I think just from, like you said, the, the title of this and description uh, of the book, I, I think really tell you you're going to get some of that. And so you do definitely get that. And it's explored in kind of an interesting way because of the, the different characters that we're exploring it with. Uh, and the fact that, you know, our main character, albeit is, is from a country that was conquered by this republic, was a prince. And so, you know, we're, we're not doing the, like, oh, rough and tumble kid from out of nowhere comes up and is really good at everything. It's like, no, he's a, he's a prince. He lived a privileged life. And so using that character to kind of explore this, I think is kind of interesting. Um, it, it makes it feel a little bit different than the kind of like the YA version of that premise. Uh, where you, you get that sort of thing. That was something I was also worried about, just because, like I said, parts of the premise do make it sound kind of YA, uh, and it didn't have a YA feel to me. 
uh, at all, really. It, it just kind of like a general fantasy book, and, and it worked. But uh, the way some of those things are handled, and I think the main character is a big reason for it as well, because James Islington made some choices that I think help uh, because of the fact that we don't fall into a lot of the, the tropes that you would get at this kind of story or like with the school thing. We do some, but the character is uh, them as an individual. They have very strong beliefs and thoughts and opinions on things. And so instead of having the kind of the normal thing where uh, like, oh, this happens and, you know, they get pulled in here. There's there's different reasonings and there's different things happening. And there's some specifically the way some of the things happen, uh, even and especially early on, it's set up almost like it shows you what would normally happen and then it switches it up and kind of changes it and be like, no, that's not going to happen in this story. It's going to happen differently. And so I think makes it feel uh, pretty fresh. And then the, the bigger picture is very unique uh, and very cool. And so there's, there's a lot there uh, once again to, to be interesting. And the, the further you get, the more I just was absolutely sucked into this one. I just, uh, especially the last third, but probably even like the second third of it. It's, I was really pulled in and then I just, you know, through like the last 40%, I could like, just not put this down. I was like, just had to keep going. I was really, really sucked in. And so it had a little bit of a slow start for me, uh, but really, really got me going. And I think part of it was, I just didn't realize how long it was going to be. And so I was making less progress and I felt like I was slowing. Uh, but it, it, it started out pretty interesting to begin with. And uh, a lot of the things I was worried about ended up being unfounded and that was great because I was hoping to enjoy this uh but I always you know try to go in with no expectations to any book because I don't want to be disappointed uh so that ended up working out well here now I will say because like I said we avoid a lot of the tropes there are still some of them and the things that I think if you if you like you know the, the school kind of trope uh the the minor things that are done you probably expect them, and some of them are here. You know, there, there's some scenes, some interactions, the way some things happen where you just generally expect it, and it's it's kind of whatever. And so those are some things I'm like, I'm not a huge fan of, and it's because I don't really care for that trope. I know a lot of people who love that kind of thing. Uh, so once again, like, even though I don't like the school trope, I really, really enjoyed this. If you like that, I think there'll be a lot of things that you'll like because it does do some of the things that are expected. Although, like I said, we go about a lot of things in a very different way. Uh, and some of the uh, the big, like, really big scenes kind of throughout also happen in really satisfying ways uh, as well and are done in a way that I feel like is believable uh, with the way that it's set up and with the, what we know about the character and how everything's happening. And there are, the, the, there are parts here that just, uh, there was one big thing and I was really annoyed about it because it felt so blatantly obvious what was happening. And uh, I, you know, I, I still, I, I'm not super happy with the way that it happened. Although I understand why it's done the way that it's done uh, after getting through. And so it wasn't anything I had like a huge issue with. But there was one thing I'm just like, I, I don't know how I feel about this uh, being done. But uh, it, it, it ended up working out there, too. So I really don't have a lot of complaints here. I really enjoyed this. And despite how long it is, like I said, once I kind of got over the hump, I'm like, just uh, just zipping through this, going crazy fast and having a really good time with it. Um, but yeah, this was really enjoyable uh, and is is definitely one that I'd recommend. Uh, even if you weren't a fan of Lycanius, this feels very different. Uh, but it does some of the things that I really liked in Lycanius. Uh, with the the magic that's both has a little bit of softness to it, but is hard. The the world building, uh, the something extra that just bigger picture uh, on top of the main story going on, and we get a lot of of just cool things with the the different factions here. Uh, the there's some conspiracies. There's you know we have this you know empire basically the Roman Empire, and then we have like people who are going against them, and we have all of these different pieces, and you're not really sure who's telling the truth and who you can trust. Uh, and the way it's presented to the character, um, you can generally see why they think what they think uh, about different people. But then you as the reader are questioning, you're like, do I believe this person? Do I believe this something? We've been given a set of assumptions, but do I believe those? And so it, it kind of keeps you, you guessing with some of that. While there are some things that are a little bit more um, clear, I guess, uh, some other things keep it pretty opaque. Where, like you're trying to figure out what's going to happen and, and don't necessarily know. And the ending... Uh, sets up what should be pretty, uh, pretty big things for the, the rest of the series. So I, I'm excited to see 
where it goes as well. Um, but yeah, most of my, most of my, any kind of negatives here were pretty minor. Uh, like the one other thing I felt like some of the names were pretty basic, like the different factions of the, uh, Catan and Republic are military religion and governance. I'm like, it's pretty, pretty general and basic. I don't know if it was specifically something that was like, if that comes from Roman history where it was really specific things, it could be, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I, it's most of my uh, complaints here were pretty minor just because I found myself having such a great time with this. Like I said, huge leap in, in uh, writing ability uh, and uh, from James Islington. Very happy to see that. Uh, I, it's, uh, I feel like I, I wish... And I've said this before, but I wish Lycanius would have been written later in his career because so many things I love about it. And if it was it was tightened up and if he wrote that now, I just feel like it would be way up my my favorites of all time, uh, even though it's it's definitely something that I, I really still enjoy. Uh, but but really well written, uh, really cool story, has some familiar elements, but does a lot of new stuff, too, so that you're not just getting the same old, same old kind of thing. Uh, and that was pretty cool to see. Uh, I feel like I've talked for a really long time about this one, uh, so and still kept it spoiler free. So there we go. Uh, happy about that uh, because this is going to be coming out early, obviously, since it was New York one. But those are really my thoughts on the Will of the Many. I was very happy uh, with this one, and I'm really excited to continue with the series. Uh, so uh, definitely check it out. It is coming out here very soon. I'll I'll make sure to note the release date because it's. It's going to come out like a week after this. I can't remember the exact date, though. It's the 20-something, 20 20, 23rd, 23rd? I don't know. I'll put it in the description. Uh, so definitely check this out. Uh, if any of this sounded interesting to you, uh, I had a great time with this one and definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, but those are my thoughts on this one. Make sure to give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Check the link in the description, as always, for the Wizard of the Doer Discord if you want to chat books, whether this book, other books, any books, really anything at all. It is a lot of fun and we'd love to have you. And of course, if you enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe. Thank you.